soon be getting new music from, wait for it, the Beatles. Paul McCartney revealing today that they will soon release what he calls the band's final song, thanks to artificial intelligence. Chris Brown now on the tool dividing the music industry. For a moment this past summer at Glastonbury's famed music festival, it was as if time turned back almost 50 years. Paul McCartney and John Lennon singing a duet, sending shivers through the audience. Thanks to that same artificial intelligence technology developed for Peter Jackson's documentary series, Get Back, McCartney told BBC Radio that the Beatles now have one final song to release together. It was a demo that John had um, that we worked on and we've just finished it up and be released this year. The song is thought to be Now and Then, written in 1978, two years before Lennon was shot to death. Two other Lennon-composed tracks were released by the surviving band members in 1995, but Now and Then was discarded because Lennon's voice track was too poor quality. We were able to take John's voice and get it pure through this AI. Get behind me. At the world's most famous crosswalk, outside the London recording studio where the Fab Four made music history, fans were elated. Wow, I think that's really beautiful because otherwise we wouldn't have heard that demo. Artificial intelligence is already transforming the music industry and not always in good ways, depending on who you ask. There are plenty of examples of fakes as well as tough ethical and legal questions. I AI-generated songs with vocals sounding strikingly like Canadian artists Drake and The Weeknd recently went viral before being pulled from streaming platforms for copyright violations. Your data should not be used unless you have approved. Martin Clancy is a musician and he chairs a global committee exploring the ethics of AI in the arts. Despite the risks, he wants artists to experiment. Let's encourage Paul McCartney. Do a whole album. But lead the way, guide us in the way that Sgt. Pep has inspired so many musicians. Indeed, in his interview, McCartney says he believes AI's future in music is exciting. There's a good side to it and then a scary side. And uh, we'll just have to see where that leads. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.